Okay, because Katarina has more energy, we're going to use her to perform the ceremony. And if she is able to raise the spiritual serenity of the house, then we can get rid of the haunted house and cursed and spooky. Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Tolbert House Renovation Challenge. This is a Sims 4 series where the Tolbert family has to renovate this huge house in order to live in it. They can only buy things from the shop when it's available and sometimes they can order from build buy mode if they use Simazon, but they risk losing their package to porch thieves. Here in the Tolbert House Building Challenge, we also do quests. And today's quest is to adopt a child and make best friends. So we'll do that after we plant some of our plants really quick. But basically, Elise is going to have a sibling. And I might give her a sister because that's probably what makes the most sense. And we also need to talk to the spirits because I want to see if I can get unlimited energy. And yes, I actually did get island energy good. Now I don't have to sleep tonight. Okay, we need to give Josie a vet treat before we do anything because she's sick. The Tolbert family has a bunch of cats living here because they're all cat lovers. And we have to make sure we take care of the cats as a first priority. Okay, we're going to adopt a child. Should we get a boy or a girl? I think we should probably get a girl because I think hopefully sisters will get along better as friends than brother and sister. I'm uh, not sure who we should get. Maybe Alexa. I wish you could see their traits before you adopt it, but nope. Okay, we'll just keep her name Alexa. And I actually had an extra bed, so I went ahead and put it in this room. The girls are going to share a room for now until I can clean out another one. Welcome to your new home, Alexa. So Alexa is proper perfectionist and lactose intolerant. Okay, um, I forgot I have a mod that gives them a lot more personality traits. So I guess I should probably pick more for Brody. Um, actually, he's earned a bunch, so I don't know if I like that mod for this particular series. I was using it for a different series because I needed a whole bunch of extra traits for a particular sim. I don't know, maybe I should keep it now because she's actually got three traits. Lactose intolerant though, that sucks. Are we best friends yet? Okay, so Brody is going to be supportive of Alexa. So I guess you can get supportive by spamming affection. Ah, finally we can become best friends and that will complete today's goal. All right, so what do we want to do to earn money today? So we're visiting the shops and this is Hooray Karen's little shop from Hooray Karen. We've actually had this shop before, but I wanted to remind myself what was in here. Uh, we have a piano and we have a nice bedroom set. It's a little pricey but maybe we'll purchase this one for the new kid maybe not uh we should check out the other shops first though okay this shop actually has some things for cats and they also have the budget versions of the vet stuff i'm not sure if we will need the vet stuff because i could just buy treats but this one allows you to craft treats i believe maybe i should get this one and then the exam table will allow me to raise my skill enough maybe to craft treats. I don't know. If I ever have to open a vet clinic, though, these items will be handy. I guess well, we will go ahead and buy it since we have the money. And we have another cat item, which is like a, a mini cat tree. It's not exactly a tree because it's just a little sleeping space. And a scratching post. Okay, we already have a flower arranging table. We might want this Mighty Might home just in case we get a, a fully upgraded toilet because otherwise we will start fires. Oh, and they have a little wild rabbit home and a flock of wild birds. However, I can't really get those from Build By unless I do the unlock cheat. Oh, cool droids. They actually move. I didn't know that they moved. I also like these curtains. We don't have the same curtains in the bedroom. Maybe we could do mismatched curtains. I could get those from Build By. And we already have the bees. I don't need those. 
This is Walk and Wonder Wares from Bottled Up Chai. And this is the Cookin' Little Shop by Bubble Unicorn 86. And as the name suggests, it has a lot of grills and kitchen items. I'm not sure if I really need kitchen items. I don't remember. Maybe the refrigerator. I think I still have the old refrigerator. This one might actually fit my decor. I'm probably going to regret it, but I'm going to get a coffee maker. Whenever you get a coffee maker, Sims will refuse to sleep and they'll just drink coffee. Uh, this is an island counter. I really don't want island counters for the kitchen. And the one that's not an island counter is, I don't know if that will exactly match what I need, but it might go with the decor. We'll try it. And then we also have some pretty good wallpaper over here. Okay, so we're going to the store in order to sell some things. But what I have done is I've set it so that the markup is actually going to be the cheapest, which is clearance. And I'm setting my selling table to 0% markup because it just got to be too easy when I was setting everything at 100% markup and 300% markup. So since he's selling junk, he's going to make it cheap. At this rate, I may have to get an employee. Okay, it's almost time to close the shop. It's almost 8 p.m. and we really should get back to the house. I don't think that we're going to buy the bedroom set because it will probably wipe us out. We made 122 simoleons from the store. That's not a whole lot, but look at what we're selling. So it, it kind of makes sense. I also moved the dumpster here to the retail lot because I think it makes a lot more sense since we have the trash can that generates money. And the way the retail store works is that anything you buy from Build Buy is going to be 10 times the amount. So it's better to buy it at the shop or get it from Simazon and transfer it to the retail store. But once you transfer something to the retail store, you can no longer put it back at the house. It has to stay at the business. So let's go back home for the night. Okay, if I can't sell it at the store for certain things like cabinets, then I can actually recycle it in the recycler and I think I get a, a little bit of money for it. So that's another way that I'm allowed to earn money. And then we need to go for a swim because I think we need some fun. Okay, so we got Gaidri's jacket. Yeah, we're in a haunted house. So the way this is going to work is that we have to have the haunted house, the cursed lot trait, and the spooky lot trait until we get rid of all of the skeletons and other things in this house. And then we have to perform a seance in order to clear the house of its haunted houseness and also get rid of all the other lot traits that we don't want okay we actually got eleven hundred dollars from that all right it's midnight and it's time to spin the wedding wheel and we got 40 percent now the reason why i have so much money is because of this trash can so we win twenty five hundred simoleons or 2571 and we have a total of 8998 simoleons so they could put things in the trash can if they're standing right next to it and because i have so many cats in my family i actually have a ton of money i get like 1800 simoleons for everything that i put in here but it's kind of slow because you have to wait for it to finish recycling and I have to make my sim stand here so they can't do anything else while this thing is running. Uh, another thing that I forgot to do is to roll as to whether or not I got my hamper. So we should probably do that next. Okay, unfortunately our package was lost in transit but we get a full refund. I think we are going to give up on the laundry basket and maybe this time we'll try for a fabricator because then we can use our bits and pieces in order to make money. Oh, we sold one of our Plopsy knittables from last time. Okay, it's 198 simoleons. That's not too bad. Oh no, attacked by spiders. It's okay, Brody. 
All right, why won't you ship this on Plopsy? Because this is annoying. It's not popping up anything in your queue. Ah, so annoying. Well, Plopsy is broken even after reloading, so I just sold it and gave myself the simoleons. So it's the beginning of another day. We're going to make some food while everyone else gets a little bit of rest. And for our next quest, we have to license a song through a DJ booth. Okay, the only problem with that is we don't have a DJ booth for one. And for another, if you go to a club and watch a DJ, your skill goes up so slow. I don't even think we could make it to level two, which is the required level in order to play at a club in order to get your skill up. So we need to find a DJ booth. Time to go fishing. For those of you that don't know, fishing is a great way in The Sims to find random stuff in order to sell and get rich quick. So you can actually find a DJ booth at this fishing spot. And we probably should just bring the whole family here. I'm going to need you to take a day off of school. Family fishing. Who is going to catch the DJ booth first? I don't know. Maybe Brody because he has at least a little bit of fishing skill. I think that's what they started out doing. Yeah, he's fishing level six now. Whoops, I forgot Alexa is lactose intolerant. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, we got a digital sketch pad. That's not what I want. I have a theory, but it's probably too late to put it to use. I, th I think maybe you can't catch the DJ booth unless you have some DJ skill. Because last time, for some reason, I tried to just see if I could get some skill watching and it went up so slow. But then after I went fishing, I immediately caught a DJ booth. Okay, he acquired the DJ skill. Let's try and catch a booth now. Okay, I guess I'm just not lucky enough this time. Time to go to the shops and spend all the money that I'm not going to be able to keep. Okay, and this is a Winkle TJE uh, from Charlie's Aura 9. I don't really know that we need a hot tub. And this dining room table is a little bit small. And this bed is way too expensive. So... Do we have an easel? Uh, we have a digital sketch pad, but it might be good to get an easel too. Now this is the Jaded Little Shop by Jaded Gypsy. Everything is green. Interesting. Now I probably would want these planter boxes and items, or maybe not. Um, but this one waters it itself. So maybe I'll go ahead and get that one. I don't really see anything else we could really use here. Oh, there's cross stitch. We'll get that, I guess. Now, this is the Jaded Little Shop by Jaded Gypsy. And it looks like they have another vacuum here. Oh, look, a laundry hamper. That's nice. Okay, maybe what sh we should do is fix the roof in this room. Now, for each beam, I think it'll be 50 simoleons to get rid of it. And good, they're debug. So that's 650 simoleons to get rid of the beams. And maybe it should be a thousand simoleons to put on a new roof. I know roofs in the Sims are free, but this one definitely is not going to be free. Okay, what can we do with these stairs that go nowhere? Um, first of all, this tree is in the way, so we'll probably have to pay 500 simoleons to get rid of that. And then I don't know, maybe we should just make an add-on room or a platform up here that this goes up to. The only problem is how do you close in this wall? with those stairs there. Okay, this doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but I tried. I didn't really want an outdoor space here, so I went with all indoors and can't really see because there's no lights in here yet, but there's still that wall that is next to the stairs. I'll probably knock that down at some point. And then the stairs go up to the second floor to another room. And there's no real hallway here, so maybe this room will become a hallway and this will be like an entertainment room or maybe a bedroom. I, I'm not sure. Probably a common area because the stairs are going into it. And so it's all closed in now. We don't have any more outside areas in this room. We do have to spin the losing wheel and we lost 76%. So we're down to 70 simoleons uh, because we lost 293. Well, 
Since Katarina is close to the trash can, we'll get a little bit of money from that. And then we're going to head off to bed because everyone is super tired. Oh no, there's a monster under the bed. So Alexa's going to try and make friends. Okay, cat, get off my bed. Okay, there's another monster under the bed. So this time Elise is going to try and make friends. Uh, of course not. She can't. Well, then you're just going to nap. I need to get the lights because the girls are just too afraid of the monster. All right, where are the spirits? I don't see them. I guess I didn't get spirits this time. That kind of sucks. Well, today's goal is going to be win a debate. So we'll have to go to university and challenge someone to a debate and actually win. That shouldn't be too difficult to do. Oh, I actually sold one of my beanies. Maybe I can ship this? No. I hate Plopsy. Sometimes it just refuses to work. So selling price is 73. If I actually sell it through my inventory, I get 27. So what I do is I give myself the difference. Before we head out, we're going to plant some of our flowers and vegetables and fruit. Oh, right. The girls need to go to school. I had to wake them up. All right, that's enough of that. I think that this will work out just fine because now we can reach the bees, the insects, and all of the plants. All right, who should we debate? Why is there no one here? Ah, uh, Kevin, maybe we can debate you. Let's meet him first because I don't think you can debate him unless you know him. Okay, it's still only giving me the option to practice debating, so maybe I can't debate until I get some skill. That's not good. I had not considered that. Okay, now I can debate a topic because I'm level two. Okay, that works. Okay, we'll meet the alien with the glasses. Yeah, let's debate him. That's a smart thing to do. Is college education worth it? Of course, my confidence buff is not going to last very long. Oh, good. I got one from the lot traits. Oh, it looked like he won. Yes, okay. So he won his first debate. That was easy. I figured it would be easy, but I forgot about having to gain skill first. It would have been bad if I had to be like level four because I don't think I would have made it. And let's go visit the shops. So this is the little cat shop by Worn Out Cat. I'm not sure, but I think we may have seen this before. It has a selling table, but oh, look at all the cats. Yeah, we don't need a selling table right now. We already have a bunch of cat trees. I'm not sure I want to spend the money on that right now. Oh, there's a fish bowl. Um, but unfortunately, it's not set for sale. So I will have to buy that from Build Buy if I can remember, because I never remember that for some reason. There's like a scratching post and cute table and chairs, a bee box. Okay, so we don't have any bees for the outside of the house, but I'm not quite sure that we actually need that. I think I'm going to forego bee boxes for the outside. Well, we might be able to do something with the wallpaper and the floors, but otherwise, let's move on to the next shop. Okay, this is the little shop by Pontiac Bonnie. So I don't see anything in here that we would need right away. I'm looking for very specific things right now. So these things are nice, but I already have a flower arranging table and we already have an easel. We actually have two because I forgot. And I don't see anything else in here that we would need. Um, maybe the rugs would be nice and maybe this wallpaper back here. What I might do this time, hopefully, is remember to take all of the items that are not purchasable and put them in a room so I can place them on the lot and pick out which wallpapers, rugs, and other things that I actually want to get. So on to the last one, which is actually a repeat. Yeah, we had this one last time, and this is the Cute and Cozy Shop by Sweetstar87. For some reason, I got this twice in a row, which is really, really strange. But I guess it can happen. Um, I have this little vacuum here, which I bought last time, but I forgot to buy the base. So what I'm going to do is buy this again so that I can have another vacuum. And then I'm going to buy two of the bases when I get back. And I got to remember that it also has a lot of curtains. 
So yeah, I might have to make a room because there's a lot of curtains and rugs here and I might also, oh, there, I could get another hamper. Do I need a second one? Mm, I'm not sure. Probably should go ahead and get it. Okay, here we are at the shop. Now I want to buy a retail freezer or refrigerator. How much is that? Yeah, 210 simoleons, but that would be 2,100 simoleons because we have to pay 10 times the amount for anything we buy from Build Buy for our retail store. What we could also do is just pay 420, but we would have to order it at home through Simazon and hope that Simazon actually gets our package here. We might try that because I don't have enough to order it directly. All right, it's way past the girls' bedtime. We should probably go home now. Quit talking and just eat your food. All right, here's the little room I made out of the stuff that we cannot purchase directly from the shop. So we want two of these docks. That's going to be really expensive, but we'll do it anyway. But now I can't see. I hate haunted houses sometimes. Okay, maybe if I put Brody in the room, it won't turn off the lights. Okay, I really don't have a lot of money left over. I really wanted to get some of these counters, but I think they're kind of pricey. 200 simoleons. Yeah, I could do the kitchen with these counters because they're a lot better than the other counters. Maybe I should. Now we need to spend the winning wheel and we got 78% for a total of 796 simoleons. Well, that's what we're going to have to work with. I think the next step is going to be to try to clean out all of the skeletons in here and you still cannot see because of this stupid haunted house because I get so annoyed. All right, there we go. So we got all the lights on. Now, if we can get rid of all of the skeletons, and I think it's only the skeletons in this room, I think I've mostly cleaned out the rest of the place of all of the spooky things. And I believe that we have a seance, no, that's not a seance table. Okay, I might have to order a seance table from Simazon because this little object does not make it a seance table. This is a regular table unfortunately. And I haven't seen a seance table in the shop. So I'll order a seance table from Simazon and then I will clean this room out of all of the skeletons. And I think that is all of the creepy stuff that is in here because it only counts if it's creepy. It doesn't matter if it's messy or trash because that's for another lot challenge. So for all of the skeletons, which I've already cleaned out all of the skeletons and bones out of here, if you clean out all of the skeletons and all of the creepy things and then make a successful seance or ritual with the seance table, then I can take away not only the haunted house, but also the spooky lot trait and the cursed lot trait. The cursed one is the worst because it basically makes you set a fire every single time you try to cook. And that has already happened to us. So I wonder how much a seance table is. 333 simoleons. Okay, well, I can actually afford that because I have to buy two and we have to hope that Simazon gives it to us. So we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of all of that. And I had 130 simoleons left over, so we're gonna set it to that. Actually, let me just go ahead and delete this first because then I won't have to delete it in live mode and potentially make a mistake. All right, what color do we want? Maybe for the cat room later on, we could leave it in there and put it as this color if we get to keep it, who knows? Because you know how Simazon is. Sometimes you get the color that you're not expecting, but we have chairs. Hopefully that comes. And then the next step is to take Brody and Katerina and go upstairs to this closet area and start cleaning out the skeletons. And we'll put all, oh, there's also a cow plant right here. I'm going to count this shelf or the cow plant um, collectible, whatever that is. I, I think that's not part of the shelf. 
I have to put all of that in my inventory and take it to the store and then it's counted as cleaned out. All right, I think for today, we're actually not going to get the quest done either. Today is make a video game, which means we have to increase our programming skill first enough in order to do that. And we live in a haunted house. I don't think this is going to work. Wait, I have the monster light in here. I guess it's just not on all the time because unfortunately I'm in a haunted house, but definitely have a monster light. Yeah, I realize you're bored, Brody, because you like outdoor activities, but you need to program. I don't know how high level he needs to be to make a video game, but he's just not going to make it. I'm not sure why I'm even trying. Maybe we should get rid of this rat hole. I, but the cats keep eating the mouse out or the mice out of it. I didn't know that they would actually do that, but I've seen a couple of them catch a mouse. I knew that they should be able to do that, but for some reason with the other mouse holes around here, they weren't doing it. Yeah, he was not able to hack the accounts. Great. Okay, he's level three and can mod games. Uh, even if he gets to the point where he can make a video game, it's already 2.30 p.m. I don't think he's going to be able to finish it. Okay, he won't program right now. Let's see if I can get him to learn it by reading. Um, looks like he might do it. Oh, he's actually having fun reading the book? Oh, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. He hates programming because it's inside. But I guess since he's reading, he's having fun. Okay, programming level four. All right, it's midnight. It's time to give up. We'll just make a visit to the shops real quick. Okay, this is Rando Shop by Klondike 1000. Maybe we can get a mirror. I don't think we have a mirror yet. Even though it's 500 simoleons, doesn't matter. We're going to lose almost all of our simoleons. And I think that candles are nice since we currently have a haunted house. Ooh, attic stack decoration box. I think we might have one though. I'll just buy it just in case. This bed is okay, but I don't think we really need another double bed. Not yet, anyway. Okay, and this is Cool Rag's version of a shop by Cool Rag 44. So there's some some things in the shop. Not a whole lot, but um, nice helmet, some couches, toadstool is cute. Uh, there's a keyboard, a washer and dryer, but we already have one. A uh, kava bowl. I don't think we have a cup of bowl. We'll go ahead and get that. An observatory. Um, sure, why not? I mean, maybe we need some prints. You can find some nice prints with the observatory. I'm not sure if we want to buy the portable keyboard, but it might be handy if we need to try and license a song through portable keyboard. And this is Sadie's Collectibles by Sonic Foxfire. There's Oh, a weather machine in here. Do we really need that? Sure, why not? I have a game table too. I want to see if there's anything else that we might need more. There's a lot of different bar games in here. I don't think that there's anything that will specifically help us really, but the weather machine is kind of rare. Maybe I should get that. All right, that almost wiped me out basically and I can't afford anything else. All right, I think the last thing that we're going to do is spend our last 300 simoleons on getting rid of this fence because we need to get rid of it in order to replace it with another fence. So we're gonna say that's 25 simoleons a piece to get rid of a section of fence and that's going to leave us five simoleons. And if we roll the losing wheel, we get 74%, which is going to basically take away every simoleon except for one. We did get some nice items at the shop, though. We'll set those out. A lot of these quests are actually hard because if you don't already have the skill, you really can't complete them in one day. So it doesn't make sense to get the skill beforehand because you don't know which one you're going to need. And there are so many different skills. You can't possibly predict which one you're going to get. So it's basically luck. Maybe we'll get those again. And if we do, then we'll actually have a head start on them. Okay, I think the next one is actually going to be easier. It's just to win a dance battle. 
So after we eat, we'll go out to the club. We never get to wear our party outfit, so we'll wear that for a change. Hey, Candy, would you like to have a dance battle? Let's see who's better. I'm not sure if you can tell who wins, but we'll try. Well, Brody likes dancing. Let's see who's better, Candy or Brody. He is level two, but that's still not that great. Where'd she go? I thought she was going to dance battle me. Oh, there she is. It's really weird because there's no music. Oh, she did a backflip. I think she's going to win. And Oh, she messed up that backflip. Oops. Let's turn on some music. Maybe that'll help. Okay, who won? Um, I have no idea who won. So we're going to try that again. And maybe I'll pay attention. Candy's leaving, so we'll have to dance battle someone else. I didn't get a moodlet, so I don't know if I won or lost. Normally, you get a moodlet for both winning and losing so that you know who won. But I'm going to give that one to Candy. She did a successful backflip, even though the second one failed. Brody didn't even try to do a backflip. Oh, Brody hurt his back. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, you're not doing very well. I'm not going to count that as winning. Where is she going? It's like no one really wants to dance. Okay, you're going to dance up here. That is really weird. There's no music either. I know I have object music turned off, but normally stereos will still make some sort of music. Yeah, I still have no idea who won. Let's try Nancy. I'm going to say that Brody probably lost again because he screwed up so many times and Hillary didn't screw up. I don't know how to judge these. I am just going by what I think is a better dance. All right, Brody, no more slapping yourself. Nancy still looks like she has a drink in her hand. I guess it doesn't really count if no one comes down here to watch. I mean, this club seems like it's dead, which is kind of weird. Maybe if I hire someone? Hey, Katrina, would you like to have a dance battle? Okay, there's a DJ now. People should come down here and listen at least. And maybe Nancy and Simon can go over here, or Simeon can come over here and witness my dance battle. Um, yeah, you're not dancing anymore. Let's try again. Don't just watch the DJ. Oh, it's because people are on the dance floor. You can't have a dance battle when other people are dancing. But I need people to watch. Don't dance. Just watch. Oh, look, I'm doing twirly arms. Yeah, Katrina, you're not going to win with just that. You have to do something better than what I do. Okay, I don't think the DJ helps. I think it actually hurts. Yeah, well, Katrina, all she did was arm charm. And I did the flingy lights. So I'm going to say that I probably won that one, but it seems like you don't get a clear winner. I did get a fame star, so maybe that means I won. Okay, he's level five dancing. I'm going to say maybe if I can do a successful backflip that it counts. There we go. All right, I did a backflip and some arm charm or whatever that is, the lights. All right, I'm going to have to change that requirement on the challenge sheet because there is no way to tell whether or not you win a dance battle it's just okay get the step up from showing off moves maybe we'll change it to that and doing a successful backflip okay we're going to say must land at least three successful backflips in a row so i did one we're gonna try and do three more or two more come on everybody off of the dance floor all right, there's another one. And there's the third one. Okay, I thought that these were harder to do, even if you were level five. We'll try three backflips. I mean, he's confident, so maybe that's why he didn't have a hard time doing it. Let's go to the stores. All right, this is Not Board of Boards by Cat Lady, well, Young Cat Lady 23. I think we probably should get the toddler high chair or infant high chair because just in case we have another child it would be nice to have some place to feed them not seeing anything else that stands out as a necessity right now there's a lot of choice in wall patterns but nothing i really want except for maybe this one that floor might actually be good for the cat room and maybe the floorboards for some of the areas so maybe we'll save all this stuff out and start doing some wallpapering and this is just a fitness shop by just liz of course um the s is really a five but i'm gonna say that's an s um uh, 
not really feeling any of the fitness equipment. I don't really need it. All right, next. Okay, the little shop by playing ND4 Life. So let's see if there's anything interesting in here. Well, I like some of the island living furniture, but it doesn't fit the interior decor. It definitely fits the exterior. This might be interesting because this is actually an item that you can store stuff in. I don't have anything like that, and I'm going to spend all my money on it, basically. So we're going to buy this, and then we're going to go to the store and run the store for a while and see if we can get some more money. Brody found a Genius Vision flat screen TV in the dumpster. Okay. Oh, I found a money fruit. Okay, that's cheating. We'll bring up this last customer and then we're going to close the store. All right, so we spin the winning wheel and we get 52%. That gives us 1,266 simoleons for a total of 3,700 simoleons. Now, the next one that we're supposed to do is get gold on a date, but I think that we're going to go to sleep first. Oh, we can also see if we get our seance table. No, seems like someone stole your package from your porch. We suggest that next time you invest on a parcel insurance plan. All right, I guess we got to buy another seance table. Are we going to sell another skeleton? Maybe. What are you buying? Yep, the skeleton, great. I've decided that I'm not going to plant the money tree because that just makes things too easy. So I'll just sell it on the selling table for 1600 simoleons. Okay, we get to spin the winning wheel and we get 84% for 13,807, which means 11,598 extra. And that brings us to 25,405. Spectre Sip. I think this gets me experience in something. Okay, I think what we're going to do right now is take 10,000 simoleons and connect this house to the grid. So what that means is we're now going to have power and water and we have to pay 10,000 simoleons for that. So that lets us get rid of the off the grid challenge, which we haven't been having too much problem with because I think we had so much saved up electricity that it didn't matter. Yeah, for some reason we had a huge amount of power and water stored up. I don't know what that was from, uh, but basically we don't need that anymore. So we're going to sell it at the next time that we have our bills due. Okay, the next quest is actually to push the limits at the gym until you have a, a sore muscle and Brody is kind of fit so I don't know if he's going to be able to do that or not. He's also terrified because of the haunted house. I can't wait until we can get that seance table. I think I'm going to roll for it now and see what I get. All right, we received a small gift with your purchase. Get one decor item worth $75 or less. So yes, we got the Simazon order this time. So he loves fitness, um, but he didn't get anything from the Spectre Sip. I was wondering why he didn't get anything. He's fitness level seven. This is not going to go well. While I'm at it, let me just get rid of my fear of death by talking to Lori over here because she's an elder and I can say, hey, how is death? You know, I'm scared of death. Can you please help me through it? Okay, that makes it easier. Did he get it? He's still kind of afraid of death. Why didn't he get anything from that? She's an elder. Okay, I guess it's just not working for whatever reason. Okay, he got fatigued, but not a sore muscle. And now he cannot work out. Yeah, I think he can only get fatigued. He can't really pull a muscle because he's too good. Well, it says it's good to take a break to let sore muscles rest. So maybe that counts. It still doesn't make him stop. Okay, Baka. I think that he should get dressed when they come out of the shower, but they don't for some reason. All right, well, the only way I'm going to get a sore muscle is this fatigued buff. I don't get a real sore muscle buff, but I'm going to count that because it says it's good to take a break to let those sore muscles rest. So let's go home and take a shower again. The showers here suck. Okay, because Katarina has more energy, we're going to use her to perform the ceremony. And if she is able to raise the spiritual serenity of the house, 
then we can get rid of the haunted house and cursed and spooky. And yes, it is increased. So we can get rid of all of those challenges now. All right, now I think what we're going to focus our winnings on today is getting rid of all of the rat holes. I think there's one more up here and I'm not sure if there's any more, but if we can get rid of all of the rats and all of the cobwebs, then we can get rid of creepy crawlies. All right, so all of the rat holes are gone. We have to get rid of creepy crawlies, gremlins, and wild foxes for lot challenges. Now, the only one that I really want to get rid of is grody because it makes you very uncomfortable whenever you use the bathroom or eat and unfortunately in order to get rid of that one we have to get rid of all of these stains all over the wall and all of the trash that's all over the floor so laundry is okay trash piles is not so that's going to be a challenge and then to get rid of the earthquake one we have to get rid of all the cracks on the walls and that's how you get rid of all the lot challenges according to the rules that i'm playing by so the next thing that we need to do is to go around and start picking up trash and we also have to pay in order to get these stains off the wall so i'm going to say that these are 50 simoleons a piece and that was five. Oh, and there's another rat hole whoops okay so i did 17 so far all right that was 20 stains and i'm going to get rid of the rat hole as well and that's going to cost us 1250 simoleons all right we also have to pay to clean up this pool i think maybe that should be a thousand simoleons not sure how to get it to work though because it's like Okay, maybe if I go down one. All right, how in the world is it green? Is it maybe it's because that's the color of the wall? Yes, that's exactly why. It's because the wall is that color. Okay, so I have 13,885. All right, that looks much better. And we should probably also paint the walls a blue color or something like that, but that's a trouble for another time. We also have to clean the water up here and get rid of the gator. Okay, that looks much better. Now I'm going to have everyone walk into this room because most of the stuff in here they can actually pick up and it won't cost me anything. Okay, now that room is all cleaned up. On to the next. I can't tell, but I think that this bathroom has only one stain left. So I got rid of it. And it looks like the downstairs, I again, I think I already took care of all the stains. I mean, the wall does look kind of rough, but there are no gross things. All right, where is the next room with trash? Okay, this wall is stained. That needs to be fixed. Should we get rid of the dead body? I think so, but that's going to cost a little bit more. Maybe 500 simoleons. Although it's not really a body. It was just a chalk outline. That probably should have counted as spooky. Okay, I put drywall up in here because the wallpaper looked stained and kind of gross. That one needs new wallpaper later. All right, the cat room is basically clean, but now we need to clean the room right outside the cat room. All right, we're just about done. We just need to clean up this room over here, I think. This one's not too bad. Okay, I think that gets rid of Grody, unless we want to count probably the... Yeah, you can't reach that for whatever reason. I hate it when they do that. I don't think that we need to count the graffiti for it. Clean up the plates. All right, well, I got rid of Grody and Filthy. So this place should be pretty clean now. It just has a few things here and there that need to be tidied up. And then, of course, we have things like, oh, we have to clean this floor. That has to count. The cracks and everything are going to be for the earthquake. We get to get rid of Quake Zone when we fix all of the cracks, but I really don't care too much about that lot challenge. It just makes them a little bit scared. We got rid of all of the really annoying ones, especially off the grid, Grody, and the haunted house with the cursed lot trait. Although for some reason there is still a specter here. I don't think we really have time today to go to the shop, so we just need to get all of our stuff done at home. Oh, I got fabrication skill from that. Speaking of which, I do not have a fabricator. Maybe that's what I should buy next. And oh, I hate 
half walls. All right, I also fixed this wall over here in the greenhouse. So we still need to put a window up and it doesn't really make sense to put a wall up and then put a window up, but this is The Sims. It's not exactly realistic. So I think we're done with cleaning and repairing. And then we also ordered this fabricator through Simazon. It's 5.22 p.m. I'm not sure if we should do anything else except for make sure everyone's needs are good. Looks like Katerina needs to do some things. You can get some leftovers and then take a shower and then go to sleep. And Brody, maybe you should pick up some of this laundry. You're mopping, which is fine, but I'd really prefer you get some sleep. Okay, I don't think there are any more clothing piles. Hopefully there isn't. Although Brody has a bunch on him, maybe he should just add all of these. Oh no, Nova is running away. All right, I guess it's close enough to the end of the day where we should spin the winning wheel after we call for our lost pet. And we only got 10%, so that's only 562 simoleons, but I'll take it. And so ends another week. We did a really good job of cleaning up the house, I think. So I hope that we, we can just get past all of this trash everywhere and next time we can start working on actually decorating and trying to get the outside ready because i think for the outside i'm going to have to order everything through simazon because i wanted to match the sulani area and unfortunately that is very hard to do through the shop so we'll have to order everything through simazon see you next time this is charity thanks for watching